The heliporter electrical system consists of two 12 volt batteries wired in series to provide 24 volts to the pump motor and also the ground power cable. It also has two 12 volt chargers to recharge the batteries through a connector, an AC connector located here. If it's necessary to replace the chargers, you'll note that there's white writing on the one wire and not on the other. The wire with the white writing is the positive side. Uh, these chargers are meant to be uh, left on the batteries uh, at any length of time. They'll trickle charge the battery and stabilize it. Uh, they will not overcharge it. Anytime there are any activities on the heliporter that require disconnecting wires, the first thing uh, one wants to do is disconnect the positive lead here. Uh, that will isolate the batteries away from the rest of the electrical system. If you look at the system, you'll note that the negative lead on this battery goes down here to ground and across and goes to the ground power unit here. The positive lead from this battery goes across, comes up to the negative lead on this battery. The positive lead on this battery comes here and goes to the ground power unit. And also, you'll note that it goes up here to the solenoid. When the switches are depressed, in this example the pump switch, the pump motor runs. The switch can be pressed in either direction. The lights can be turned on, off with that switch. There are three wires in the cable that travel to the handle. One wire is black, goes to this connection on the top of the solenoid. Another wire is white, it goes to this connection to the solenoid along with a heavier wire from the battery. And the third wire is a green wire and that wire is inside this loom and goes directly to the lights. If it's necessary to replace switches, one would remove these two screws, pull the cover off, and this is what you would see. This is the light switch, this is the pump motor switch. The pump motor switch is designed to be used in either direction. The white wire comes up and goes to the center of the pump motor switch. The green wire goes to the end of the light switch. A green wire jumps between the two switches. A black wire comes to the far end of the pump switch and then a jumper between there that allows us to have the bi-directional use of the switch. So basically what happens when the unit is being run, when you close this contact either direction, the white wire has power in it from the battery. It makes contact that allows power to flow to the black wire which goes to the relay on the pump and causes the motor to run. Same with the lights. When you turn the light switch on and off, it uh, functions the same way.